morning. I'm going to take you through lab activity 223. It's all in the reflexes. We're going to check the speed of a voluntary action versus a reflex action. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open Bernier on our Chromebook. I have it open. You can see here. And I'm going to take my LabQuest Mini, which is already attached. And I'm going to grab my EKG sensor here. Um, these are EKG sensors, but we can do uh, EMG, electromyograph. So uh, as we do this, we're going to put this into channel one. Okay, it's going to click in. And we're going to take a reflex hammer that has an accelerometer attached to it. I use some zip ties so that we can see how fast it's going when it stops and then look at the reaction of the muscle. So we're going to look at voluntary reaction of the quadricep muscle and then a reflex action of that quadricep muscle. Okay, this is going to go into channel two on your LabQuest Mini. And then I'm going to take my LabQuest Mini and attach it to my Chromebook. So this should be checked, should be plugged in. And as I plug this in, it should indicate that it is connected. Okay. Now that it's connected, it should come up automatically with what you need in order to run this lab. So you can see that it's all set up, okay, and it's ready to go. Okay, now that we have it all set up on here, I put it for 60 seconds so I have enough time to do five trials. I'm going to use these alcohol prep wipes to wipe down the area that I'm going to put these EKG stickers. Okay, so up here about 13 centimeters, about five centimeters, and then down here on the bottom where the muscle is. Okay, I'm going to take my stickers and I'm going to attach them, one up on top on the quadricep muscle, one down here about five centimeters from the knee on the quadricep muscle, and then I'm going to put one down below on the lower leg. Okay. Now the subject is just going to be far enough back so that the legs dangle. We don't want this contracted, otherwise there's not going to be a reaction. Okay. This first one, we are going to use a voluntary kick. So I'm going to take my EKG sensor and set it up. It's going to be the same for both of these labs. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this behind her so it doesn't get in the way. And I'm going to attach my LED or my clips to these stickers. Okay. Green and red up on top. It doesn't matter which one goes to which. And then I'm going to take my black lead and put it down on the bottom. Okay. Now we're set up and ready for the lab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask my subject to close her eyes. And the first one that we're going to do is we are going to do an involuntary reaction, which means that she's going to close her eyes. I'm going to hit the hammer on the table and she's going to kick out when she hears it. We're going to do this five times. We have five trials and then we're going to average it. Okay. So I'm going to press collect. Go ahead and close your eyes and you're going to click, kick your left leg when you hear it. Close your eyes. Kick it out hard. And one more, just in case. Okay. I'm going to press stop. Okay. Now I have the data, so I'm going to save it. So now that I have the data, I'm going to go ahead and reset this for the next experiment, which is going to be an involuntary reflex. So I'm going to go to new experiment. Now that I saved it, okay, sensor, sensor data collection. Okay. And it'll come up with a new data set. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is my patient's all the way back, so her legs are relaxed. And I'm going to have her close her eyes again, and we're going to do five trials, but this time we're looking for a reflex instead of a voluntary action. So I'm going, ahead, I'm going to go ahead and hit collect. Go ahead and close your eyes for me. Collect. Find the patellar tendon. OK. 
Okay? And I'm going to stop it.